What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Study Hall here on UFS University. My name is Tam. I'm joined by Barrett and Travis. Yo. And we're going to jump into topic three. But before that, I'm going to get into some housekeeping. If you uh, like the show, we're brought to you by two sponsors, one and a half, one-ish sponsor. Uh, Patreon.com slash TCG University. Go out, subscribe at any of the tier levels. Get a bunch of exclusive content. Um, at the three level, three dollar level, you get this entire podcast uh, oh, two weeks early, as well as uh, access to all of our straight out of our Dr. Dr. Cram sessions, as well as um, a, a bunch of other cool, awesome stuff. Yeah, right, Barrett. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In addition to that, I want to give a big shout out to Jasco. We have a, a, a super cool new tablecloth um, because Jason was tired of looking at our taints. So, um, what? <laughs> I'm <laughs> gonna use a, a new word every time. <laughs> what I want to talk okay. about is uh, this is a topic brought to uh, us by one of you, the good people, um, the good patrons, the good patrons, the the student body. Um, on Patreon, Will Stull says I would be interested in seeing lists about symbol packages uh, you all discussed in earlier episodes. Using the cards, using the cards that stop X list. I've actually started understanding the characters and where they need to defend as well as how to beat them. Perhaps a list of cards uh, in an order package with a comment on how the package play out in a common game. So we can take this in two ways. I uh, originally had this written down as um, what are archetypes in the game, i.e. hand cannon dot deck or i.e. Um, punch and Judy dot deck. And are there any new punch and Judy decks? I, I think we could actually take this in a slightly new different direction of – What's the best all deck right now? If you're playing all, what are you playing? Cassie obviously, Cage. obviously, you think Cassie's the only all character? <laughs> no, but the meme. <laughs> Just, okay, that's fair. The Brad, I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you sit up because oh, you're ruining you my want, shot. I'm not ruining your shot. You're, there's so I much. I have a tablecloth. They can't I, even tell. Yep. <laughs> I just got shorter. That's yeah. all. It <laughs> um, though I don't know. I, I don't know. We haven't had a competitive season yet. We had we one. P- we had one BTC. Yep, and that BTC had an all character top. Oh, it did. Mm-hmm. Do you remember who? Uh, Do you remember who? Come on. An actress. No, nope. no. <laughs> an actress is an all character. He did top, and I yeah. believe he was playing all all as his dual second symbol. Ha, got him. See, I won. Yeah, you got him. Best all deck. An you actress. know what all deck topped? Oh, Talbane. Jay J- Talbane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, best best deck in the format. J. <laughs> Jonathan. I think his name Jonathan. I don't know. John Talbane. Yeah, it's John. It's John. John Talbane. It, it is now. It's John. Um, jo- can be Johnny. And so my question is: is so we've have uh, we'll go, we'll go back I guess to the easier of the two topics. Um, do we have a hand cannon dot deck? Is is um, I thought this was like a different thing. You thought this was a different thing. What yeah. did you think the topic was? I thought was? this was going to be like, um, you know, because a two Akuma two dot synergizes all about face down cards in your card pool. We have this whole package of cards that synergize with face downs in your card pool. Okay. Now so now we can build any deck under these specific symbols and cross platform with the Sagat cards or with the Gyroman cards and we can do sorry, <laughs> and we can do cool things in maybe not specifically those characters if we just use cards with face downs in our card pool. Okay. So we can play I don't know. Sadistic ways. Sadistic ways, which is a multiple two, four, six card that we now can actually begin with on our turn. And we only have plus one progressive difficulty for, I don't know, a Congo Koku Retsuzan, which says we can remove face downs in our card pool in addition for paying for our powerful cost. And then we cleared all those face downs. And so. I. I guess, but I don't want to talk about that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what I thought we were talking about. Or we can go to Lilith and be like, well, now we have a whole new package of and plethora of cards that have to do with three or less base damage attack or three base damage attack. See, here's here's my issue with that, and this is getting into, you know, maybe like a fourth topic that we're possibly discussing okay, here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is these, the reason I don't uh, – all right, here's a hot take. Here it is. I'm ready. I don't like this set. We know. You've said it almost every week. And I think I figured out roll, what it is. You can roll back the tapes. When I when I look at Lilith, I don't – besides her support under her main two symbols and the only card that I can possibly think of, you know, Akimbo under Earth, 
She doesn't have anything from the past sets. And the past sets don't really get stronger due due to her. Go ahead, type in type in three damage earth cards that you wanna play. Oh, I'm gonna do all of her symbols. Okay. Three damage earth cards that you wanna play. All of her symbols? There's also still not a lot. Well, hold on. Okay, well so okay. Um the two symbols that share with Lilith One, Chaos and Water. Uh huh. I'm gonna do those symbols. Forget like the sickest thing you can do there is Skull Barrier. It's, is she specifically three or three or less? Three even. Three even. Okay. Three even. Okay. Right. And I'm so, going. like, Give me some time. The, the issue that I'm having is, is like, when we want to talk about your topic, uh, these these characters feel very exclusive. They feel very, hey, I'm in my Lord Raptor deck, I'm playing at least two of all of his support. All right, we got Demi Lovato. Okay. Flip Cat. Okay. Slide Shot. Single okay. Barrel. Okay. Bad well, bicycle. Slide Shots is a multiple. Windmill technique. Punch. Well, that's, a multiple, that's a multiple move. Multiple what is don't. That? Multiples don't count for Lilith. They don't get the buff. They're base stats. I, I know, but they count as cards in our carpool, which yep. means for the first one we get a ton of stats. Okay. It's so like playing Crit Split, but reversed. I had the cool part about Crit Split is the second. And then they and then we're playing wi- windmill. Okay, windmill, windmill punch Lilith two dots sounds nuts. I don't think it's bad, honestly. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Uh, go ahead. This Tell me on it. five mid for three that we load all these cards in our card pool. Hell, we can even combo with it and put another freaking card in our card pool. Check a five, get all these stats and all those multiple copies I just got. We'll leave them anyway. Keep playing the game. Keep playing Lilith. Are you kidding me? That sounds nuts. I'm gonna yep. build this deck. I'm gonna tell JJ to try this out. All right, I'll keep going. As a spit. This is not about Lilith. <laughs> this is you told me this is for three base damage. Here's 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 my thing. I'm just okay? trying to be devil's advocate this I, week because Tam normally I really is. Appreciate it. I, I I think Dark Chirito dot deck is a thing, okay. and that's the package deck that I wanted to. Talk and I think about. okay, that's fine. And like I think okay, then I think we're talking about the same thing. Okay. Um, I think it's harder to do the symbol thing is what I was trying to say. Hard to do. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Like I don't. So you I, think Will's an idiot, and you hate his ideas? Is that what you're saying? Is that what I'm getting on no, camera right no, now? No, he didn't say that. Yeah, he did. No, he Will didn't. said the symbols thing. No. Our national champion <laughs> hates other <laughs> UFS players. He has ascended beyond. Hey, please don't watch this one after the last time. He has a, he has <laughs> Everybody ascended. hated me about confronting or, uh, with a beautiful child or whatever. My beautiful child. <laughs> um, I'm gonna read it. Second topic. Oh, you're right. Nope, just kidding. Snow sync. Okay, here we go. Seeing it lists about symbol packages, using cards that stop X list. Um, the ones that you've been yep, posting. Yep, the, w- the using cards that have stopped X. I've been posting on patreon.com slash tcguniversity. You can either Okay, all right, simple package. There. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, I'm okay with that. All right, just so trying the simple package? Okay, so let's. So can we, like, carry this on? What has to be in an all deck? Not over yet. <laughs> Not over yet has to be in an all deck. No, no, no. Uh, Demon Realm Awakening. So we're, it's like staples, but we're talking about like all cards that synergize with each other in any deck that plays all. I okay? think is that what we're doing? Yeah, I think you have to have Shadow Inheritance. I think you have to have. Uh, I think Templar Sense exists of somewhere. I think Sense of Morals is in that deck. Wave of True Warrior has to be in an all deck. I think uh, probably in the same of breath of air as Sense of Morals. I think if you're running Sense of Morals, you sh- might also be running some amount of uh, Art of His Avarice. Uh, that's yeah, what you run. Avarice and Nutcracker is also really good if you're running yeah, Sensible. So yeah, so yeah, okay, so yeah. So I think Nutcracker almost goes on any deck that plays all just because the, the card's so strong, unless you're doing a specific package. Yeah. But the only real package you're probably doing under all is slams, which it is a slam. Yep. Which means we can do transform and stuff it's like really that. Really sick with um, transform. But that's not what we're talking about. Um we're talking about cards. Alright, okay. Um Man, I wish there was a really cool insect puppeteer play under all. I and that's and that's I think what we're talking about. Okay, but I don't know what that is. That's I think that's what that's what we're talking about. Um, Goro's victory pose. Goro's victory pose is a fantastic one. I think pit's actually really good too. But pit under all, under so anything. I think that card's good. It says you don't lose to like Jackie. It says you don't lose to like Jet. It says you, uh, a bunch of things. I think the card's good. It says we can play all things. allies. I guess that's a package too. Fei Fei obviously is in your deck. I th- Hacker Extraordinaire, Fei Fei, Curious Magnetism. I will live and die by those cards. So they should all be in your deck. Curious Magnetism, Hacker Extraordinaire should be a one of in every deck that has those symbols. I will live and die by that. I, I can think, agree with that. I think I think I think I think Fei Fei, Curious Magnetism is nuts. Is Living Pendulum still on this list? I don't think so. 
Like the pendulum stopped the punch and Judy. Man. I've already gone. I love that card so much, but man, I did not play it at World at Nets. And so I, it's really hard for me to vouch for that card. Uh, I mean, the and now the format's changed. Yes. It's um, possible that we talk about something else. Sure, it cancels Lilith. So yeah. Yes, it cancels Lilith. That's the reason. Yeah. Okay. Eh. I'm down. I'm ooh ooh. It cancels Kath. It cancels my character. Nobody played that card, so I that's why I won. I think Cormoran should be in every deck, every all deck. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I think I, I think, think at least there. a one of. Yeah, I'd agree with eh. that. I think under all these symbols, eh. Cormoran should be in, in there a one of. Eh. It is a free block. It lets you be greedy. It allows you to be eh. greedy. I don't like that card. What so about much. arranging a deal? I think that's nah. remotely good in every all deck. Man, not more than a two of unless you're a, you can cut yourself. Bebop yeah. blues. Hey, how yeah. many were, p- were you playing in Cassie? Arranging? Yeah. Two. Okay. Yeah. Because I it was a six I check. I thought I got him. Because it was a six check. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I got him. Um, this is hard. This is some good. Mepha's assault to generic one. Is Ooh, that all we're uh, doing? Are static we just build listing up. cards I that we're playing? I actually hate static build. Up. I hate static build up as well, which is why I was not in Cassie. Sorry, I'm a dude. Yeah. I th- think that card's very good. Think that card you blows. You think this card should be in every single all deck? Yes. You it's think, it's you think free it stats. You think it's it not free. It's a 2-5 non-block. Sure. You think that's free? I guess. Wave at you, Warrior. That should be in every deck. You better fucking believe it. How do we feel about Look the Devil in the Eye? I like that card a lot, actually. I don't think it's just, I don't think it needs to be in every deck. My deck cheated because it built it off the top. Okay. But Wave at your Warrior should be in every deck. I totally agree. I think Wave at your Warrior can be in every deck. I think yeah. Deliverance should be in every all deck. Man, that's a hard one. Mm. I don't think it's in every deck. Especially now with competing action slots with uh, Demon Realm Awakening. I hear what you're saying, but sometimes... Okay, so Demon Realm Awakening has DR. I'll, I'll give you that. It's also the but block. I, I think this card is better than... Um, it also has a block. I think this card is better than Templar. Mm. Debatable. Questionable. Here's, here's the reason I say it's better than Templar. Okay, okay. All right, more question. And the life-saving scenario of... T- I think that's... T- t- Deliverance's life-saving ability is why that card's good. Yes. But because there are so many more cards in the game that can cancel it, okay. it's harder to use that card. All right. And so then what's your reasoning for the other ability? Uh, because Templar is... Templar is hard to block with. No, 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 no. Demon, oh, the Demon, one? Demon Realm Awakening. Yeah. So... Okay, so I, I, I will... I will concede that this card is not better than Demon, well, Demon Realm. Okay. I'm down for that. All right. I don't think all is playing a lot of actions to begin with. And, and so I think you're we're playing We're already one playing uh, not over yet. No, that's no, a staple. No, no. I don't we even think that's to. true. No, no, no. I don't even think that's we true. We have to. No, stop. I only played it in Cassie because But we do. To. I think if you're playing a regular all deck, you're playing one action, and it's probably a four of, if not less. And so I think us trying to decide on whether we pick Deliverance or Demon Realm, I think we're picking Demon Realm. I agree. I think we're siding deliverance. Okay, I'm down. I'm down because for that. we side usually into more defensive pieces, and demon realm can True. be just as aggressive as deliverance can, because it says redraw. Art of Savers is that a, is that in every all deck now? I think especially if we're playing sense of morals. Yes, high seas yeah. adventure. N- Maybe in sideboards. Yeah, that's my problem with that card. Yeah, I know a lot of more. I know a lot more people like that card more than I do. Um, I think there are better three diffs like. Uh, alpha male with the same stats. Don't mess with Magnet Man. I don't know what that card does. That's okay. You don't have to read it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite cards. I I I like. Man, honestly, I'm gonna put on this list. I think this card's really undervalued. Merciless Master. Yeah. I think that card yes. actually goes and was every oh, other deck. Oh, it's so good. Because if you're playing all, you are drawing cards, and so there's no way that card's uh, stack of momentum ability is ever bad. Yep. We've now gotten to uh to not all <laughs> to, cards. Yeah, to to bad cards. So what is under all? If you had to, si- if you had to give a cheeky name you know, to I just the pull out my all list or my all deck that I'm that I'm playing right now. If we had to give a cheeky name to the all package, what would you call it? Um, give me give me a name. That's a very hard question. Give me a name. Give if we are labeling this as what? Hey, what does the all symbol do? We draw cards. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just going across. I uh, came to beat ass and draw, and I'm all out of draw. No, I'm, I man, this I don't know. I guess I wasn't like looking they for a goof. They do so goof, many <laughs> different things. They do so many different things, man. Okay. I was trying. We to do everything. 
We do everything. We do the, everything. The everything. Everything dot deck. Everything dot deck. Yes. Um, like you have draw, you have speed hate, you have damage hate, you have uh, <gasps> keyword hate, you have in improving your checks. All right. Um, moving on to air. Okay. We got We got to move on. We've got. Holy shit. Fucking this is so today. hard. I don't like this. this is you hard. don't like this? This is very difficult. <laughs> we can start this topic. No, no. I was only... No, no. It's okay. No, 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 no. All right. No, no. Uh, good. Keep going. Unlikely Allies has to be in a, in a air deck. <coughs> yes. It has to be. Yes. Yes. Extended Lifespan has to be in an air deck. Um, I don't know which one that is. Respond, flip after your opponent flips any of your foundations due to their effect. Commit one of your opponent's commit one of your opponent's foundations. Oh, yes, yeah, Respond, yeah. Respond, flip after your opponent adds any number of cards during their hand. Draw card. so fast. Unite. We just talked about that one. You think it should be in every air deck? Hell yeah. I think Redeem Rogue Shadow Fighter can easily be uh, uh Redeem Rogue Shadow Fighter God of Thunder. They should be in in most decks. Yeah. Um Hand if cannon. you can play those cards, you should. Swordfish 2 is yes. in every yes. in every single deck that can play it. Fueling yep. up new shipmates. Um God of Thunder. Bang. You didn't say God of Thunder. I did say God of Thunder. He oh, did. You did. My bad. Yeah, You're right. so. How are you going so fast? Because Tijuana. I'm very. I like Tijuana and Air. I decks. think. I think Tijuana groceries is is very playable. Feeling Why don't you ever find out and looking? What? Huh? Punk? Yeah. Come on. Huh? Punk? Man, I remember when Tank Whoa, was played. Whoa! Dust in the wind. Bang. Thanks. <laughs> dust in the wind. Does that matter? Yes, absolutely. Why does that matter? For sure. Because uh, I think Air is very good at blocking, and that card says, "Hey, you're good at blocking." Aphidophobia. Yes. Pull Demogion. Yes. Yes. Because you don't get to play Dark Emperor. <laughs> True. <laughs> and the better card. <laughs> I really like Devotion to Justice. I think it's a beautiful spam. Uh, yes, because I don't think there's cards. better ones. I don't think there's better ones, so yeah. I'm okay with that. True. How do you feel about Inner Neutrality? Uh, man, I don't like that card that much, but it's not bad. I think, I it's, think it's all right. I think it's only good in Seven Handers, but... Okay, I'm okay with that. That's a good answer. I'm down for that answer. Thanks. I didn't come up with it. Chris Nixon did. Oh, nice. Good job, Chris. Yeah. Good job, Chris. What about? Are you just doing foundations? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't think I don't think I'm doing uh. You don't think like actions, attack actions, a assets, and foundations? I don't think attacks have a slot in here anymore, unless it's something obvious like I don't know, coffee samba missile launcher, and those are like coffee samba missile launcher fatality are like the only ones that I could be like, yeah, if if you're running these. Or like symbols. when we get to Graven Castle. Yeah. And okay. I have I have assets I have assets on here. Okay, okay. Um, I have assets, actions, foundations. I don't think attacks. I think attacks have to be too specific Ooh, to the character. Evil. Or destiny. So sorry, securing his destiny. I, I think the way that I think the way that we play this game right now is the twenty percent of the cards, or maybe even like thirty to forty percent of the cards that we're talking about right now, just go in your deck, and then the other sixty percent is all that flavor that we talk about. Like, I think I think Harold Germania is still on that list for air. I totally agree. Is Cage Fighter still on that list? Man, no. I want it to I be. Want, I want it to be too, but I that card same. But like, I don't think Journey West is on that list anymore. Yeah, it feels kind of bad. Yeah, the card doesn't feel as good anymore. Damn. I uh, I think Journey West is good in Vega or uh, in, in uh, Jetta, and that's it. Uh, and Mission Fi just because it's thirteen dollars. Yep, just because it's thirteen dollars. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh uh, man, see now I'm zooming. I like this. Mm -hmm. We're zooming now. Yeah. All right, uh, we get back to push the limit is not on that list anymore. I'd rather you play Devotion of Justice, I unless you I need agree. the unless you need the low block. I think you actually have to put High Seas Avenger in an air deck. I believe so as well. Like the point, the point is that you're supposed to. You, I think the air deck is very good at blocking and um, doing stuff with your blocks, and so I think that card says, "Hey, I'm so going to block this right now, and you're not going to deal with it." Yo, I want to talk about this card right here. Astronomy, Astronomy Tower. Tower. That card's hype, dude. I think that I think that card. Is a huge sleeper hit. Yeah, I think it's just cool. because you want to know why. It's green. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, whenever I make, much. whenever I make uh, my air deck, which I'm going to be making fairly soon, you put it in and then it gets I'm, cut. I'm going to be putting it in. I don't actually. I don't even know if it gets cut because of the of the two letters at the beginning of each of these effects, F R? and R. Oh, F and R. Yeah, Lord Raptor would absolutely love. All right, I'm on chaos now. I think we're done with that one. All right, sounds good. I'm just clicking everything that's not chaos. Cast away and forgotten. Yeah, Will, I hope we're doing this right. I hope we're doing this. <laughs> if if we do this wrong, fucking I am me, dude. My Mes beautiful child. Message, mes hey, message us again and we'll do it right. Yeah. We or, absolutely or we will. won't, you know? Or maybe what I was trying to say at the beginning is what he was trying to say. Maybe. I'm, maybe I'm down. Is. Wait, he said order packages. Maybe that's just what he's playing. I'm down when we get to order. Cause I can tell you exactly every single foundation that has to be in your deck. Does chaos have to play fade? No. They definitely play face of a monster. 
Yes. Correct. And Outworld Eris. But I don't think they play. Man, you jumped over Street Fighter versus Darkstalkers. Yeah, because I don't like any of those. Dreaming cards. of uh, Becoming dream, Whole. Yeah, cast Away and Forgotten. Whole. Well, sure. And that's it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad I, I'm wow, glad I went back. Uh, extended Lifespan. Yeah. Fade, I have no idea, to be honest. That card seems like it only works very well in specific decks. Honestly, I think Sadistic Ways is in your deck if you're playing Chaos at all. I to think be Emergency yeah. Rations is super necessary right now. Yes. I think Emergency Rations has to be in your deck somewhere. Sometimes. Un in Chaos? Yes. In, uh, yeah. It I has to be in your deck. I think in Good and Water, you can let it slide. Same with Honky Tonk Woman. Yeah, sure. I think that build is too important. Yeah, I, I think for this slightly not as strong symbol, yes. Balance Fighter has yes. to be in your deck. Designed for Combat has, has to, be. to be in your deck. Honestly, probably evening with Gren at this point. You think so? Um, yeah, because what under are you picking up under chaos, if yeah. you're not playing fade, you're probably also playing ga uh, gateway shuffle. Yep. Okay. Actually, just for dr, probably one with nature has to be in your deck. Yep. Um, discard a card for plus two to your their block modifier and one damage is insane. Yep. Surveyor has to be in your deck. Yep. 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 Um. Delta Blue Team Leader. Skullberry. Does this card have to... Skullberry. Skullberry has to be in the deck. Has to? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so then Hunters Once More has to be in your deck. Hunters Once More? Yes. The card that says get a momentum for free? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Under Chaos? Uh, what else are you playing? Uh, I think Chaos What's it competing wants to have momentum right now anyways. Yeah, I think so. Because so I think that's the general strategy. Okay. It's kind of what I just said that I think actually if you're playing the Chaos symbol, I think you're playing Sadistic Ways in your yeah, deck almost no matter Yeah, for sure. Okay. So Chaos has to play Sadistic Ways to get that free momentum. Yep. Yeah, because that card's I'm free. Down. I think it's because that down. card's free. I don't like Hunters once more because it has a three high block, and I don't think we can play those anymore. I don't think that's what matters. I think it says on your turn, if I built one earlier, it's a free momentum right now. This card, yep. this is a new fatality. It's old. It's an old card. It's Whatever. An old it's an old fatality. Whatever. Delta Blue Team Leader. Do you have to play that card? I think Plus it's a good. Damage it's a good no, one of. No, no. I actually think no. I don't think that. I don't think. I don't think you have room for that anymore. Demanding submission. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Especially if you're Barrett Bryan. <laughs> uh, look the Devil and Away the True Warrior. Are they still have to be played? Away the True Warrior does not need to be played if we're playing the other card, Demanding Submission. Correct. So it's, it's up to you. At I that think point. Demanding is better. I, do I really. also do. Uh, sideboard? Yes. At sideboard at least. Homer Spiders and Dragons. Yes, main board. Clear Cutter. Nah. No? Okay. I think I didn't <laughs> think so either. <laughs> that depends on the deck. Uh, uh, are we playing Unpredictable Movement no matter what? Unpredictable Movement. Commit minus two speed? Yeah. Man, I don't know. Nah. Or are we not? I feel like... That's what I'm, wa that's what I'm wondering. Like, are, we, are people playing Commit minus twos I anymore? Feel, I feel... I, I, I'm I not. am. I'm not. I am. Well, you're I'm playing Know Your Objective. Well, the desperation ability on that card is way better. All right, cool. <laughs> is that is that what puts it over the top? Uh, maybe I don't know. Hey, is it over the top? I guess. Uh, oh yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Like really? <laughs> I like. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Just that free build. I think yeah. most chaos decks are really aggressive, and that card says you get to build better. Okay. Yep. I'm down. Is anybody playing dodge? Nope. No. Again, I think you're playing gateway shuffle if you're playing an action like that. Okay. Yeah. Why not both? Uh, because the non blocks are so much. Reactive style. No, I don't think that card's I very think good. I think it has to be. Why? Uh, What's after the other effect on it? Uh, enhance flip, discard uh, momentum. Discard your opponent? Your opponent discards momentum. What's the stats? Uh, two, four, three high. Maybe. I, I think you ha I think you have to play that card exclusively to get rid of their momentum. Maybe. I don't know. That seems rough. Ooh, I uh. jumped into King of Fighters stuff. Ooh, Ooh, why uh, didn't you hit the standard button? Is is card. War for Armageddon good enough with yes, all the absolutely. Yeah, I think that card's nuts. That yeah, 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 yeah. Good call. Good call. Yep. Like uh, it's one of the few symbols that actually gets to play that. Um, the hardest part is putting that card in an evil deck. Yeah, that's the hardest deck to put that in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think in anywhere else, I think it goes. And in the in the same vein, we also have like Hunt for Spiders and Dragons. Yeah, we're under playing chaos. that. Yeah, yeah, we're playing that. Okay, so if we had to give a cheeky name, we missed Air. If we had to give a cheeky name to Air, what's what's Air doing? Defense. Uh, I don't know. I get it. Fuck, it's so hard because I can't just like look at all the cards. Um, you think just defense? Yeah. You I think air is just a wall deck? Yeah, I think air wall is. No, I think I think it's a different kind of wall. I think I think air is um block baby. 
Block, baby? I think it's very good at blocking. Very g- oh. Yeah. And I think uh, throughout that whole list, too, we uh, named, I think almost every card we named had a block on it. Whereas most of these other symbols do have a lot of non-block. True. I think it's just very good at blocking. Okay, so now to Chaos. What does Chaos do? I want to say that Chaos is very good right now at just, like, uh, check manipulation and, and momentum. Um, like Okay, like, honestly, the momentum is probably the biggest one right now. I think it does momentum gaining the best. I over water, which is a top computer. I think chaos is just manipulation in general. Like they have a lot of ways to manipulate things and kind of skew the game. It's really good in foundation control right now. True, because you get to play beautiful child and hunt for spiders and dragons and war for Armageddon. Yeah, and uh. Man, there's another one that we said earlier, and I'm really moving bad. on to death. Uh oh. <coughs> yeah, this one's gonna be. We got very we interesting. Blaze through it. There's a lot. Demon Realm Awakening has to be there. Yes. How yes. do we feel about Telekinetic Mastery? Uh, uh it's. I think it. I think I that card's actually player dependent. Jake, the Big Johnson Johnson, has a, has a hard on for that card. I think it's okay. I think it's fine. Most trusted assassin. Adenian royalty. Do you think Death has to play this card? No. No. No Not Empress at all. of Nether Realms. Does Death have to play this card? No. No. Because they have Design for Combat and Balance Fighter. Okay. That is a fair enough point. I think Most Trusted Assassin, yes. I think it's one of the butter spams. Dark Emperor, yep. yes. Oh, man. I missed a page. Man, I love Debt to be Paid. I think that card's actually nuts. Yes. I, I love that card, too. If you're running Most Trusted Assassin, you should probably be running that card, too. <sighs> man, I want to disagree, but I'm also playing that card. I think Strict Mentor is very good for the death symbol. Yeah? Yes. Pay one life, minus one speed. Minus one speed, play well committed. I'm Scar- down. Scar- Scar- I like that card a lot. Syndicate target. Man, which one is that? Uh, zero six, oh. zero low block. Mm, I don't no, think No, because we enough. have a bunch of better zero diffs now for death. I for think death. the zero low block matters. Okay. I think the zero low block is incredibly relevant. I can tell you that putting two of this in my Lord Raptor deck, I am surviving l- more. Just because of car, uh, just because of garbage cards like like Hurricane of Death and Missile Launcher exist. Feeling a bang. Swordfish. Swordfish two. two. Yo, I want to make this. Skull barrier. Balance fighter. Time for combat. What do you think about beauty? Beauty can overcome. Man, I love this card. I'm not sure it needs to be in every every deck, but I think I think if you are playing a mid range deck, you have to have it. Did we uh, already say Swordfish too? Yes, we did. Yes. All right. So the biggest. So here's one. Uh, so pull the Majigen. I don't know if this one fits the bill anymore. I think it depends on the deck because because Dark Emperor is in the same symbol. Uh, I think it depends on how defensive you want to be as opposed to uh, aggressive. Right. And depending on how bad your deck gets fucked up by responses in the card pool. Yeah. Um, uh, I think under Death we are not playing unpredictable movement. How you like them apples? No. Does that still exist? No. We just don't care about that. I not for that symbol, but I think, very for cha- I think for chaos. Wait, no. It does not have chaos. Evil, good, death. Okay, never mind. I think it depends on what your deck is trying to do, honestly. Demanding submission, securing his destiny. Demanding a submission, yes. Securing his destiny, yes. Yep. Prepare to fight. Ooh, sideboard card. S- yes. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it starts in the main deck. Over uh, the top. I actually don't think we have room for it. Interesting. Uh, I'm playing that card, and I think it's very good. In Donovan. Yeah. Yeah. I I think it's good in a lot of characters right now. Yeah, I, bl- I agree. So okay, here's my thing with Death again is um, Death plays a lot of two diffs because they're very very good. Yep. That card says we have a slightly better build turn. Okay. Yeah. And I, s- I think that card says that under Death, if we're playing an aggressive deck, we get that extra foundation. And if we're playing a defensive deck, we have that extra foundation to block with. It's also really good in Jetta because it's a uh, block that doesn't count towards progressive difficulty. Or th- that's why I play it in Donovan because it's also that bad. too. The Humber Spiders and Dragons. Yes. yes. I'm going to stop talking about that card. Okay. For Chivalry and Honor. Man, I love that card, but I don't think you need it anymore. So, no. I don't think Two you play it. Two four without a block, I don't think it's worth it anymore. I don't think you play it unless you're playing uh, some amount of spikes kick that unflips something. Eh, no. That doesn't mean it's social being. Exposition, Mathematician, Portal Barrier, Survivalist. Any of these? If you're Tim Keith, Exposition. Mathematician, I think, is a one of in almost every deck. I, I don't like Portal Barrier. I think that card sucks too. 
I survivalist, think survivalist yes. is a good one of. Yes. Yeah. I think survivalist goes into what's good of it. I think survivalist actually there's depends on how many bad checks you're playing. There's not, a, but like uh, on the same side, there's not a lot of three diffs under death that you're playing. And I think that one easily takes a slot. The big yep. one you're playing is hunt. And it barely counts. Uh huh. Really? I'm just going to go through your list. You're way faster than I am. Reform scientist. I don't know what that card does, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is a kind of a big one. Focused and patient. Are we playing that in every death deck? No. no. Okay. You, if you're a controlled deck, you're playing it. But okay. No, I, I actually don't think that's true either. I think if your name's Donovan, you play it. No, nah, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think it's true. I think if you're playing Spike Wine, that card is fine. Really? Yes. Yeah, not a four of, but it's fine. Like, actually, I'm not. What? No, what do you want wrong. me to say? You're wrong. I, I want think you to it's say, pretty I'm all right. Sorry, Jetta Tam. Too. I didn't mean to. You want to know why I think you can play that card? Why? Because I think Uniting the Cosmos is playable in almost every death deck. And that card works really well with that card. Yeah. I think this card's also Four playable both in Jetta. You heard it here first. No. Will. That's not what I said. <laughs> I think Uniting the Cosmos is playable, but it's not in this list that we're making. What's Death do? What's its name? Everything. I don't know what it does. I don't know. It's so it feels so close to chaos right now. But really? just without th the without the momentum. Focus. I think it's very controlly like chaos is. I think chaos I think death has lost a lot of its aggressive foundation. Yeah, I don't think it can really afford to be that aggressive anymore. Because its attacks aren't as aggressive either. Yep. I don't know, man. What would you call it, Tam? Well, yeah, host. Fine. Well, my job is not to come up with content. Oh, my really? We can't share the load here? My job is to to have experts come on a podcast. Tim, we got eight more symbols to go through. Yeah, I know. Did you not come up with this one? Worst host ever. If I, uh, you know, Travis, this job is really hard, buddy. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> I've done it. It's not that hard. Uh, <laughs> If I had to say death, it would probably be um, one step ahead. Every time I look at the, at the staging area for death, like everything matters. Nothing, nothing never doesn't matter. Yeah. There's, al there's always something on that on that staging area that I'm like, well, man, he's one step ahead of me. I, I have to deal with this and this and this, and then I get to play the game. I think that's very, very good and creative way of describing it. Thank you, Travis. It was okay. Probably because I'm good at this. All right. Uh, <laughs> moving on, we're gonna go to Earth. Uh, we've talked about it before. Unlikely allies is nuts. Yes. Like, uh, do we want to talk about like carrying the legacy, leaving the team, since immoral, shadow inheritance? Like, I know you have a you have a crazy. I love carrying the legacy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So do I. It's do you think it? Do you think it good. has a a place in every Earth deck? I block with this nutty card. I I change it. And now I've got some slight DR. Yeah. Just because we're going to yeah. talk about a bunch of other nutty foundations that just happen to have a good block. Things like Overly Dramatic. I think Commander of Artworld's Army needs to be in, in every all-Earth Fire deck. Nah. Mm. Really? Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I think, I don't know. When I play Earth, I don't want to take four or more damage from any attack. Uh, also but that's also Earth, how I just want to play the game, I guess, sometimes. You skipped over uh, Lilith's Foundation. That Castaway and Forgotten. Dreaming yeah, of Becoming Whole. But I'm like, uh, I think under Earth, like putting something exactly to four I and flipping one of the foundations is incredibly important. S flipping something that just stops my character. Because I feel like inherently Earth decks are slow. Yeah. And so if I'm giving you the ability to to set up and do cool staging area stuff, and it can also, like if I build two of them, I don't have to wait to take four two four damages. I think that's just probably yeah. where, where, we, where we see it a little differently is uh, – because they are inherently slow, I want to do everything I can to not make them feel that way. So I don't want to play that card. I mean, I'd also be willing to take four damage if it means the next attack hits less hard because of it. Venomous. I think you play that, yes. obviously. You play Actually, that in every symbol I possible. Also with Loyal Servant. I think you play that card no matter what. Overly Dramatic is Banana Sandwich. Yep. Um, I'm not positive we play... I, I mean, man. You I don't play Folktale in every deck. But you no, do no, play... No, no, no. Police connections? I was saying Cormorant. Yeah, you play police connections and everything. Okay, well you're skipping over stuff, so I'm a little. Well, I'm I don't think you play Cormorant. I don't even think you play a ranging and deal in most of these decks. Because if you're trying, I don't know. If you're playing the Earth symbol, you're pretty much committing to playing like a kind of defensive deck. And yeah. I so when are you gonna hit desperation? <laughs> when you get your ass beat. Yeah. How do you feel about improved design in Earth? It's nuts and water. How do you feel about nuts and water and fire? How do you feel about in Earth? 
I think I'd rather play Heart of the Mountain. Yeah, I don't think it's as good anymore. Interesting to compare those two cards. They're different, I know, but just like apples to oranges. Improved divi- improved divi- yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> improved design <laughs> says that if I want this card to pay off in the end, I have to discard a card on every attack. Heart of the Mountain says uh, they're probably going to block this one, so I'm not going to do it here, and I get to save a card. So Heart of the Mountain's blank. <laughs> Heart of the Mountain just doesn't do anything. No, it. I mean, it, it says minus scenario, two it also speed. Says commit for minus two speed. Short fuse. How do you feel about it? Not enough prepare to fight anymore. Unless. I unless you bitch, l- I think prepare to fight is r- incredibly slept on still. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So I also don't think people want to pay sixty dollars for that card. That's stuff. that's fine. I wonder why it's sixty dollars. Uh, I think short, short fuse printed. is dependent on your deck. If you lose really hard to cards that people are blocking with, with like skull barrier and stuff like that, I, I think the cards will always be relevant because stuff like skull barrier exists. Cool and focus, pursuing a vendetta, refusing to let go, pursuing a vendetta, yes, yes, pursuing um, for refusing sure, refusing to let go, yes. Cool and focus, I think it's just dependent on what you're playing against. Um, Locally or the meta, the meta. I'm not. Sh- I'm not strong enough to know if cool and focus is as good right now. Um, you're not strong enough. I'm not strong enough to make that decision as a person. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one with nature, survivor, or survivor. S- I can't. Talk Sur- surveyor. Survivor list. <laughs> <laughs> Do we care about from Mother Russia? Uh, that was the. I like that card. Yeah. Audio format. I don't like do that ever again. <laughs> I like that card a lot. I don't think there's a reason eh. to not play it as a one of. How do you feel about my blood flows through you? I don't know what that card does. Probably not. Response flip after your, your attack deals less than printed damage. Commit your opponent's character and gain one of vitality. Uh, I think immortal knowledge is still good. Well, that's not what we're fucking talking about, well, Travis. I, I know, but like we're talking about staples and stuff. I think immortal knowledge Maybe, is a good damn, spam that also does something else. I wanted you just to say no because it's a no. My blood well, flows through you. Why don't Here's the know? thing about that card. You ready? Okay. My blood flows through you is super... Good. I like Invincible Iron Body. Why would you skip over that one? You think Invincible Iron Body is a staple for the Earth symbol? Yeah, because I think if you get stunned out, your whole deck blows. <laughs> okay, that's okay. very true. <laughs> like all these, all these other symbols we've gone through have an answer to stun. Why are we not including that one? That's a good point. I love that card, and people are sleeping on it. Doesn't it also like give all your attacks plus one damage and safe or something? If you wanted to, fuck yeah. That's actually <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> fuck yeah, do you party? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick actually. That seems really good versus Jetta. Yeah. Recla- you were claiming with ours. Yeah. What's ours. That card maybe not an Earth. That's my answer. Maybe not an Earth. Yeah. Stop. Yes. For sure. How do you feel about uh act of treason? Uh if mm. you're playing reversals, I guess. No. I don't know. Warp Armageddon? Yes. Yes. What do we call the Earth symbol? Evil Imposter has to be in your deck. It has to be. Yes, it does. True. That, that card only has two symbols. Better play it in both. Man, <laughs> Graven Castle Ruins. Yeah. Now probably we're here. Probably now we're there. Probably. Yep. <laughs> now yep. we're there. Which means we're probably playing Dark Cheerito. Dark One Man's Leaf Shield. Big Cyclone. And maybe Black Dog's Fang, depending on the deck. So uh, the Earth symbol... It appears that it has a lot of foundations that um, do something to get something. It feels like it doesn't want to do – man, it feels – it still feels really fair. Like I don't I don't think it got anything crazy from Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers. Your so character like has to make it unfair. Your character has to make it unfair, which is why like I think Goro's like the only playable Earth character. Um I don't uh, think it's true. I think Cassie Cage can do it. I yeah, think Lilith Cassie. Can, I think oh, li- yeah, yeah, yeah. I Cassie think Lilith, Lilith can do it. But they are very niche with the, what, what it is that they're doing. When you th- when you close your eyes, when you go to sleep tonight, and you think about Earth.deck, you, you, you gracefully wisp off to sleep. You're right, you, know what, you know what Earth does? They do everything but stats. Yeah? Yeah. Everything but stats. I love that, that actually. Yeah. Which is why Lilith and Cassie are the characters that we talk about, because they give stats and to the Goro. Earth. And Goro. Yeah. He Flip gives plus damage. four. Because they give damage, yeah, I love they it. They give speed. I love it. That's a that's a good answer. Everything but stats. Earth, Earth dot deck. Everything like the, but stats. Like, like so even some of the cards we named, like they also have like DR, but they also just say no to stats. Things like overly dramatic. They're like, nope, no one gets stats. Stop it. Evil. Despacito. 
Uh, look at any Vega deck from the past uh, PTC, and there, there's your deck. Look at the Scorpion deck from the Reno PTC. There's your deck. There it is. We found it. Confronting Jota. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's it. Like, there's Most Trusted Assassin, New Empress of Netherrealm. <laughs> Last of his kind. I think there's just, there's... Fade. Face of a Monster, Elvadurus, Uniting Rebels. Like, there are so many crazy... <laughs> every card from Mortal Every Kombat. card off from Mortal Kombat, <laughs> you just fucking put in your deck, and there's your evil deck. Good job, man. Yet to be paid. You're probably putting in Dying Rage in your deck. Yeah, <laughs> like, every, every every evil card from Mortal Kombat. Uh, explosive Acrobatics. Except for, con- or, uh, except for Punchy cards. Harrison's Lucky Day. Yep. And the Demand, sometimes. I, I Despacito. Honestly? It's just desperation.deck. That's what I said. Despacito.deck. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Study Hall. If you like this video a lot, um, go ahead and you can click on this one over here to see last week's video of Study Hall. This one over here is going to be a playlist of our past study halls that we've been doing or any of our other past content. Um, we're going to have another square, I think, right over here. Is Tam's going to put it right there for me. Uh, if you're new to UFS and you don't know what we talked about this week, feel free to check that out if you're new and you want to get to know the game a little bit better. Um, and if you want to support us, we brought it up before, go ahead and click on our Patreon. That link's going to be right over here next to me. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll hopefully see you next week.